Luba has qualifications in social science and early childhood education and has held a variety of roles over the years as a teacher, centre director and facilitator of support services in early childhood. She has expertise in leading her teams in the highly successful innovative programs which provide meaningful education and care to families with the target of inclusive education and access to early childhood opportunities for all children. In her current role as a um, social inclusion coordinator with Good Start Early Learning, she continues to advocate for the rights of children and families, lead leading and mentoring the New South Wales a ACT Good Start teams in inclusive transdisciplinary work and enabling early childhood educators to change life trajectories for children and families they see every day through active experimentation and thirst for innovation, strong leadership development, meaning meaningful participation in their own unique communities and inclusive and responsive practices and relationships in their workplace. She's also a mother of three feisty, beautiful and outspoken boys who keep her motivated and challenged in her practice of education and advocacy for children. Over to you, Luba. Conclusion of short people and tall people. Um, I've been very privileged to be able to do the work that I love, as it directly links to providing better outcomes for children. Through creating and developing and facilitating thinking spaces, we're able to create new ideas that encourage inclusion. Meaningful inclusion is a key to improving life chances of children and families. It what drives our philosophy around relationship building, expectation we place on others, the advocacy we prepare to engage in, and decisions we make on a daily basis. I really like that we're using the same picture that we all. <laughs> this is um, this particular picture is um, something that I carry with me all the time. That's my vision of inclusion. Um, it's not one thing for everyone. It's individual support for all to have the equal opportunities. So, what does inclusion mean to me? Inclusion to me means hearing the voices of all children and families and communities we support, especially those who are silent and doing something about it. It's about setting a goal to ensure that all children, but especially those children at greater risk of falling behind, have an opportunity to learn and grow through early learning. A bit of a statistics, Good Start has a network of 641 centres across all states and territories of Australia. We are a not-for-profit provider of early learning funded by four of Australian largest charities. I feel very fortunate to be part of Good Start National Social Inclusion Team, an organisation when all areas of organisation contribute to inclusion that is empowering and supporting inclusion practices on large scale. With Good Start reached to 641 centres in a spread of geographical locations throughout Australia, it's been an amazing experience to be able to advocate for children's inclusion and support individual centres in daily experiences and plan programmes and initiatives. Sorry, there's a slide missing. The key to inclusion for us that we put into all our programs, it's about what we do and say on a daily basis. It's how inclusion is visible in our environments, daily routines and transition and interactions. How do we welcome families each and every day? How do we say goodbye? And is the child's and family's sense of belonging can clearly be evidently supported practically, here and now, not tucked away in some folder somewhere in the office? Do we know if the child had breakfast? Do we have partnership in local areas for support if needed? Do we have ongoing relationship in the community to support our families? Inclusion is about giving yourself permission not to have all the answers and freedom of thinking to go and search for them. It is also about having the confidence to recognise and implement what we already know and believe in our ability to support the children and families. We are professionals and our job is to work in partnership with others. We excel in relationship building every day and our work is grounded in research and best practice. We require continuous reflection on this work to support our development and we have large numbers of support systems such as EYLF and NQS and continuous improvement plans to guide us. We also need constant reflection on community we are supporting and genuine relationship we are building and looking constantly for those voices that we're still missing. Another key is facing the fear of getting it wrong. For many years we have heard the words from educators I'm scared of getting it wrong with families, so I will do nothing. What message does I send to the children about the sense of belonging, being and becoming? What does it mean for the future identity? Who is supported by that and who is missing out? Sorry. 
Did you have something missing here? Um, this is the way the social inclusion team works in New South Wales and Australia overall. We have a un uh, universal foundational base where we support all children through inclusion framework. We also work in very targeted ways um, around experimenting and piloting new programs and new ways of working around inclusion. Uh, we also do a lot of advocacy to government um, and sectors in general, and we also work beyond our services to see what new partnerships we can develop in order to support inclusion. Our Family Connection Program is just one example of our design inclusion support programs that support the daily understanding of inclusion practices. It's got strong components of information around empathy building and attachment philosophy, working with hard to reach families, cultural competence and communication rich environments as well as OT practices. Our Family Connection Program consists of training support of continuous learning circles because we don't believe you can learn something once, it needs to be continuous. It has access to a variety of disciplines to support the learning, time to practice the ideas on the floor, and ongoing individual and group mentoring support, including active mentoring on the floor. By developing partnership and being able to draw on other organizations and uh, professions such as McGrew, by cultural support, speech therapists, psychologists, occupational therapists, art <laughs> therapists, family workers, and others, we are creating the building up a workforce of educators that are resilient and supportive of all families. We know and advocate daily that educators need time and space and permission to go out and explore the, their unique local communities to support the inclusive pedagogy. It's been vital for us to work closely on local partnership with elders, mentors, support systems available to the census. We encourage educators to reflect on their own biases and face their own fears in an inclusive and safe environment. The final message that I'd like to share about the work that we're doing, we are asking the census and all the educators to think big picture but work actively locally to ensure that we meet each child and family at their own level and provide for the most opportunities possible. The key to inclusion that have supported Good Start in developing inclusion concept and framework is now embedded in organization and is the goal on the same level as others. We see inclusion as vital as the goal of stability and high quality. We have had a 100% increase, increase in um, Inclusion investment, we have welcomed this year over 1,200 children more with additional needs. And we're currently developing 25 integrated services with seven of these in New South Wales with a view of the centres sharing the journey towards embedded inclusive practices with others. And it's only the beginning of our inclusive journey. Thank you.